Andy Warhol was born in Pittsburgh and lived in New York, while Rene Magritte lived in Belgium and moved to Paris. Now inside the Museum of Modern Art, they are neighbors. They intersect in place and time. One could imagine Magritte asking Warhol to give him credit for Andy Warhol's candle soup cans that claim to be art simply because they were part of everyday life as influenced by the Greek's canvas of a pipe that had a disclaimer that it was not a pipe at all. Emotion, innovation, <clears throat> preconception. What Van Gogh did with the brushstroke, Picasso did with structure, and the Greek did with the realm of ideas. By my putting more than one of their paintings in the same illustration, it shows the progression of each individual painter. In my illustration of the artist's table, there are five paintings present that were subject to canvases by Van Gogh. It is important to note that the room has its corner in the center, and the stars on the window make vortexes on the floor. In my interpretation of Picasso, the artist looks into concentric circles, wearing a harlequin shirt while petting a cutest cat on the house. In my interpretation of Magritte, a man with an apple for a face smokes a pipe and begs the question, how did you know this was a pipe in the first place? What they did is translated by myself, and so says something of the art of the trade and something about myself. I'm only able to do the work I do because of the presence of the museum of my life, past and present. This year, the tradition has continued, I was instructed about my technique by Terry McGee and the importance of finding the right format by Gordon Sasaki. There was discussion and feedback. In the good group artists I have grown, I can say that through my art and writing, I feel like a better human being. Thank you, and I'd like to introduce Glenn Branson, one of the bridge artists. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My paintings this year are more diverse than they have ever been. One of the things we did at MoMA was to go to different galleries to see the work of famous artists. In American Moderns, we saw the work of Class Oldenburg, who made things that are big, small, and things that are small fit. I have done this in my own art. In sound dance, Norwegian artist Jane Winderen recorded sounds above human capacity of insects, fish, and bats. I paint a lot of bats in my portraits, but in this show, I could hear them speak clearly. In new photography, we looked at a variety of ways to take photographs. I am a photographer and learned to use a tripod and a timer to take sharper photographs. In addition, I enjoyed Ernst Ludwig Kirchner's urban street scene. There are fluorescent skin tones, makeup, and high fashion. Paul Cadmus's painting, Granny Village, also shows men in makeup with nail polish and other bohemians. As a result of exploring art, I continued further excursions exploring my emotions. These are reflected in my paintings. They all reflect bewitching wild emotions. Interception is the perfect name to express my growth as an artist. I had something to prove to myself after being rejected from an art school. I had to prove myself that I could be successful. Mama played a big part in that. And a big part of what you see here today. I was so angry that I wouldn't take criticism from anyone. But after the bridge.
which along with partnership, I learned to take constructive criticism, pushing myself to extremes. My words then took the first place at the face of people's chosen words, and we can see it here today. We also had guided tours at home that played a big part of my de development. At one we had photo photography sessions that we were shown different ways of using cameras. This was especially important because most of the, most of the work here you see today was inspired by the, the photograph I had taken myself, showing the beauty of New York on my eyes. This whole bridge and moment partnership is special because when I leave MoMA, I feel accomplished and confident and eager to learn more. But when I'm back at the Bridge 300 studio, I'm given the tools and the support I need to create my art. Our work at MoMA this year with Carrie McGee and Gordon Sasaki involved intersecting directions. One approach was our guided exploration of the museum in search of inspiration and master techniques we could use in our art. Naturally, our first priority was the making of art. Now, a curious thing about the art produced at the bridge this year was that I and four other artists decided, without consulting with one another, that we would work on pieces that were realistic and on abstracts. The second line of pursuit at the bridge involved us photographing our own work. This was made possible by the generosity of Anne Hyatt and the bridge, which bought three cameras and three tripods just for our use. Intersections reminds me of highways. And the major crossroads here tonight is between MoMA and the bridge meeting at this wonderful art show tonight.